I'm on a shed hunt here. It's about a little after two. There's my first shed of the day. It's a little, little one, either one or two. I said two, just kind of decent gene two. But uh, there's number one, and uh, gosh, it looks like from last spring. So uh, looking good. I'm a little green, but I'll get that off. So uh, here we go. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a nice one. Bye now. Well, y'all, it's a little bit before four o'clock and here is a deadhead and i found a, a leg bone maybe 20 yards 30 yards that way through the brush and then i didn't see any other bones around it but anytime you find a big bone then i start circling because if you've got a big bone then you you, you have a kill site depends on how old if it's a really old bone it could have been dragged from anywhere but a fairly fresh bone it doesn't look like it's been out there that long start circling and then often you'll find the deadhead as in here actually in this case i circled couldn't find any big bones and then just kind of went with my gut and went down a trail and there was so kind of circled around and uh the same goes with big antlers now i have found smaller ones matching sets together where it'll get off and he'll just want to get the other one off but Generally speaking, with the much bigger ones, you need to start circling looking for the match because the bigger ones have more mass and his head feels out of balance and he doesn't like that. And oftentimes he will do everything he can to get it off pretty fast. So that circling thing that I do works. I'm telling you, it doesn't always work. Maybe somebody picked up the deadhead. Um, if it's poacher kill, really really big deer no head they put not only do they pick it up they shot it for that purpose that happens in the late spring you know they they'll hunt them all the way till uh shed season all the way through shed season um these guys who run these illegal rings will hunt them the whole time so you hear a gunshot in <laughs> early march high powered rifle hmm they do use crossbows but they use whatever they have to use so anyway here's dead head and uh going rambling See what it is? We got a, we got a, uh, we got a entangled with a thorn that I just took in the hand. Awesome. Ooh, it's not really that long. Preserved pretty well by the uh, earth. Hmm, brown. I'd say a two. Yep. Just looking at the diameter right there for this area, I believe that to be a two-year-old. Two-year-old got had by the oats. Coyotes. Yep. That's what yotes do. There wouldn't be a legal spread anyway. But for two, he's got good genes. I mean, those are good genes around here. They really are. So, you know, eight point. he have been nice. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep on going. So, uh, I got another good hour, hour and a half of daylight. So, uh, I will talk to you guys later. And the re some of y'all up north are going, you don't have enough. I am down in Houston. Uh, the days are a lot longer than they are, say, in Michigan. This time of year, Michigan, Canada, sun sound at 4, 430. Yeah, I used to live in Germany, believe it or not. So I remember the winters where the sun went down way early. But down here, you have daylight this time of year until 530. No problem. You can shed hunt until about 530. No problem. So, uh, and the days are getting a little longer. Anyway, I will let you guys go, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a nice one. Bye now. Well, y'all, I went two minutes, <laughs> and uh, there's a good one. There's a freshie. Looks like a freshie from this year, and uh, let's go pick it up because we're trying to get starting to lose daylight. It looks like it's from this last spring. Nice mass, looking like a three-year-old. <laughs> nice, good mass. Three, three. Nice antler. Awesome. All right, as soon as you do this, he's got enough mass that he might have been kind of bothered. So uh, we're going to do a quick circle and just to see what we can find. If I find it, great. And if I don't, well, it's life. But uh, there you go. There's number two and a great, I say great, a really nice deadhead. Uh, you know, nice for a one-year-old. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Y'all have a nice one. Bye now. Well, y'all, hit the jackpot. Don't even know if it's a shed or a deadhead, but it's good size and looks fresh. 
don't know yet. Shed! Big gun! Alright! Ooh, is it a freshie? That is a freshie right off his head. Look at that! And this is January. Right off of his head. Look at that mass. For a, a four-year-old. I think a four. Kind of stubby, but pretty. And a freshie. Awesome! And I kind of started the semi-grid. See, what you do is, you don't do a pure grid of an area. You just don't start at one corner and walk in a straight. You just can't. And you'd be there at it all day. So, what you do is, when you find a hot spot like this, then you start to snake in and out that area. And that's what I've done. And bam! I just, I can see it's very active. So, isn't that awesome? I'll start circling here and looking for the maps. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you guys later, man. It's getting good. It is getting good. Talk to y'all later. Bye now. Well, y'all, here's an example of some of the weird stuff you find in the woods. Now, the area I live in was one of the largest producing places of oil in around 1900. And this well looks to be, God, 75 years plus. And, well, that's a valve. But it's got a plate on it that um, we'll have to do a little research. And I don't know what. I'm pretty sure this was originally for oil. It, it could be a water well, but I, I don't think so. But um, either way, that is old. And it's not that unusual in this area to go and find enormous uh, concrete structures with nothing there. Or, you know... Uh, all kinds of heavy equipment that looks very strange looking. In other words, it's very old. It's just sitting in the middle of a forest and was abandoned from the oil days when there were a lot of people that lived around here. And a lot of land just kind of grew up around it. So there are all kinds of wild, cool stuff. And here's one of them. So uh, <laughs> I don't know, but that is a really cool looking well. And then there's also writing here that I haven't even looked at yet so uh, anyway open I see that <laughs> but uh, well I've got another 15 20 minutes of daylight so I'm gonna do what I can and making my way toward my car and uh, there's some interesting stuff all right I'll talk y'all later bye now well y'all it is about 5:15. And this is the results of my shed hunt for the day. I would say a pretty good shed hunt. All in awesome condition. A uh, little green on one. Other than a super freshy right there. Just came off his head. Early drop. And then Mr. Deadhead. Uh, youngster got caught. So here is my awesome shed hunt for today. I am pretty pleased. I am also wiped out tired. And I have another half mile or so to get to my car. So I'm going to get going. And I hope y'all have a fine evening. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now.